from the round barn, you go about two more blocks and, and you, uh, you experience the now for something completely different. Pops is really something as you approach because the first things you see are the, the huge soda bottle sitting out in front. The architecture of Pops is a ultra modern uh, landmark for the 21st century. I wonder if you'd tell me the, the owner of the place and his idea and why, just the basic why behind the place. Sure, the, the owner, his father had, was a soda jerk when he was a kid, okay. we called him Pops. Uh, just kind of started That's growing where from the name there. Came right. from. And he's a big soda buff anyway. And as the idea grew and grew, it just kind of came into the beast that we have today. But uh, that's really where it, where it started there, it was just having to have this piece of property, um, nostalgia Wanting type of to get things. something here and keep yeah. the Route 66 going right. instead of shutting down another business. Absolutely. He wanted to show that Route 66 is still alive, it's still vital, it's still you know a part of uh, Americana, it's, it's still yeah. there. I think a lot of people relate the Pops name to just the the sodas and the, the soda pop that we see. I guess it's almost more of a tribute to the original pops. It is, and it's also a tribute to Route 66, and he's, uh, a lot of things, you know, with the native rock that's done here, uh, there's 66 redbud trees, the state tree out back, uh, they all run uh, in line with Route 66, our 66 foot tall pop bottle out front. Uh, that was a very important piece of the architecture being that Route 66 over the years has always been about icons. Right. Uh, it's been about the unique and that's certainly what they wanted to do and what they've accomplished is being able to kind of create an instant icon along Route 66. It's really neat to see him come back in and create something like that. We can see the, the soda on the, on the wall here. Right. How many do you have a count on how many different kinds? Well, right now we've got uh, right at about 560 different kinds of soda uh, for sale there. And it's uh, as large a collection as there is in the United States. We all went inside and like tried to pick out like the weirdest pop we could find. And uh, I wasn't so much looking for a weird pop flavor as a weird pop bottle. Rex, of course, found some Ramuni, a Japanese soda. I don't know, it may have been fish flavored for all I know, possibly ginger. It had a marble in the top. Took two people, a tool that you had to disassemble, and then five minutes of work to get the marble out. Almighty. I can't push the thing in. <laughs> you want me to do that for you? I can't, <laughs> I can't help it. Then rub it down. Ready? Here. You ready? You ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> Looky there. It's only a two-man operation. <laughs> How convenient. It only takes a tool but check it out. There's two people to open the bottle. Let's see, there's a marble in it. What a score. That doesn't matter. There's a marble in it. <laughs> score. Mm. It was enough to keep us entertained for five or ten minutes just trying to open it. Let's try our mm, delicious Japanese soda. Mm. Melanie. Mm. It's melony and delicious. It tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> I just got one with a lid. As the day winds down, it's time to turn around and head back home. We'll retrace our path down this historic road and keep an eye out for a piece of history we may have missed along the way. We hope you've enjoyed riding with us. We'll see you next time on Two Wheel Oklahoma. Regular old lid, huh? Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it's pomegranate. Oh, Izzy, that's good stuff. Mm. Oh, product placement, sorry. Product placement. Product placement. Mmm. That is pretty good. I don't know, it's kind of bubble gummy though. Audio guys always have the loudest farts. <laughs> Most crisp, clear. But I love the marble. That's just, you know. It's all about the marble. It's all about the marble. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Cool.
Rakakake boob. Fupto boob. Fems bobota za ooh. Okay. Just real quick, I just need to know, uh, Brad, what, what kind of snake is that? I think it's one of the long ones. The skinny, long ones. I'm going to lie and say I had the, uh, <clears throat> I actually just had the uh, club sandwich, I think. But I'm going to lie. Talk for me again. Rakakaki B. <laughs> 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 Fems bobotaza, oop!